Saturday, so President Obama seems more focused on lecturing you, the American people, than he is with combating radical Islam. Now, here's what he said at a prayer breakfast earlier today. These attacks can foment fear and division. They can tempt us to cast out the stranger, strike out against those who don't look like us, uh, or pray exactly as we do. And they can lead us to turn our backs on those who are most in need of help and refuge. That's the intent of the terrorists. And that's not all in a recent interview with The Atlantic. While well, the president slammed Republicans for comparing the struggle against radical Islam to the Cold War fight against communism, telling the magazine, quote, we well, have some on the Republican side who will insist that what we need is the same moral clarity with respect to radical Islam, except, of course, communism was not embedded in a whole bunch of cultures. Communism wasn't a millennium-old religion that was embraced by a whole host of good, decent, hardworking people who are our allies. Really? Joining us now with reaction from the Islamic House of Wisdom, Imam Muhammad Ali Allahi and Fox News contributor and pastor, Dr. Robert Jeffers. Dr. Jeffers, let's go back to Brussels. Again, the president is also asking that we and insisting we take in more Syrian refugees that our yeah. intelligence community has said will be infiltrated by enemies of America, ISIS and others. So he wants to take him in and gamble with the lives of the American people. So he's sucking up and getting lectured by Raul Castro, <laughs> a murdering thug dictator. And he's doing the wave, again, right after Brussels. All these people killed, including Americans. He's doing the wave. And then, of course, he heads on off to Argentina and he starts doing the tango. Um, hardly the response you would expect from the leader of the free world in light of all the terrorism. He wants to double down on the mistakes of Paris and Brussels. Why? Look, here's what's going on. Once again, on the heels of a horrific terror attack, you have the president assuming his favorite role of defender in chief of Islam. It is time for this president and others to wake up to the fact of whether we're talking about Paris, Pakistan, Brussels, or San Bernardino, all of these attacks share one common denominator. They were not committed by Jews or Hindus or Episcopalians. They were committed by radical Islamic terrorists. And Sean, by this president's unwillingness to admit that and denying it and demonizing the rest of us who make that connection, it's not only shameful, he is endangering the future right, security email. of our country. Here's a simple question. I'd like a simple answer. Are radical Islamists evil, and are they a, a clear and present danger to the free world? First, Sean, and also honorable guest, uh, Pastor Jeffrey, please stop saying radical Islam. It is either radical or Islam, but can't be both. Islamic radicalism is a all big right, lie. Answer my question. And okay. all, due to, <laughs> Again. all due to our guests, this is not evil. Yes, ISIS is evil. Islam is not evil. Evil is ignorance. Evil is let injustice. Me, let me, let me evil ask the is question. prejudice. But wait a minute, evil sir, is racism. Sir, wait a minute. And what? Wait a minute. You're not answering my question. I oh, answer your question on. if you there give me time. There are people in the name of your religion that strap bombs and very comfortable strapping bombs on their own children and hijacking airplanes and telling people that if they kill innocent men, women and children in the name of Allah, that Allah will reward them with 72 virgins. It's done in the name of your religion. I will ask my simple question again. Is radical Islamists mm -hmm. evil and are they a clear and present danger to the world? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Simple radical question. Islam Simple. is evil because they are not Islamic. When I receive a letter from KKK, they threat me to death. I don't consider them representative of Christianity. So you cannot, you know, you cannot KKK consider is ISIS representative There's of Christianity. KKK is evil. I agree. I think they're evil and they've committed acts of evil in the past. But the problem is, is we have this worldwide threat. Now, why should the United States, when every intelligence leader we have in this country, take in refugees from Syria when we're told that the refugee population will be infiltrated by radical Islamists and ISIS? Isn't that risking, isn't that risking the lives what, what, of the American people needlessly? 
It is risky yes. to take the terrorists, not the innocent refugees. Look at and the how do you ascertain the, the difference? What how the Pope, do you ascertain what the, the difference? Pope said and what the Pope did about those refugees? Okay, I'm not talking about that the Pope. should be our path. How you know, John, do when, you I, when I listen to Trump, difference? when I listen to Ted, the tone <laughs> of their talk is a great gift to the ISIS. The, because I'll when answer they, the question when because they you won't talk answer. about refugees, Pastor Jeffers, the answer is yes. it's difficult to ascertain what's in somebody's heart, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. And let me answer what the imam said about the KKK. Here's why you can't tie it to Christianity. You can't find one verse in the New Testament that says, kill unbelievers. Jesus, the founder of our faith, didn't kill anybody. He was crucified. But you look in the Koran, you can find 35 sword verses. Muhammad was nothing but a bloodthirsty warlord who beheaded 600 Jews who would not follow him that is into not battle. True, and I know everybody doesn't true. like what Donald Trump Trump says, but Donald Trump was right when he said there is something within Islam itself that causes its followers to hate us. Not all Islamics Pastor. are certainly uh, terrorists. Only 5% are. But 5% of 1.5 billion people is 75 million radical Muslims in the world. How did so many people get their religion wrong? That's the you question. Are, you are you not... don't have 100 million radical Christians in the world that today. There are 2.2 billion. Uh, Christians in the world. You don't have 5%, 100 million Christians wanting to chop people's heads off and burn them alive. There is something terribly wrong here. What, what about those Christians who, in the name of Jesus, they bombed the hospital and killed the doctors and they call it Bible? So that's not do true. You know how many, do you know how many people were killed in, in abortion bombings by so called Christians? A grand total of eight. That's not even a good half hour. Do you Work Do you know Muslim how many terrorist. Muslims were killed by ISIS, which was supported oh, yeah. by the, the radical, Saudis, the, who were supported by the United right. States? You're exactly right, Imam. Radical Muslims not only hate Jews and Christians, they hate moderate Muslims who won't follow them into battle as well. I they, certainly they agree with you Muslim. about that. They, All right, guys, they, we're going to have to end it Muslim there. Muslim if they are radical, that is not true. Yes, it is true. Radical you know, Islamists and, exist. And, and, and they kill in the name of Allah. In the Quran that and they're hijacking Absolutely. your religion. One verse from the Quran that tell to kill the innocent. Yeah, if oh, wait you a minute. Open, and the Quran, the, the one that says, so many, the one that says so take neither Christians nor Jews Bible for your friends? Talking about the stoning and the crimes condemned okay. by I death. I got so it. if but you go by the they're text. They're following Muhammad is what they're doing. They're following his example. We got le to leave it there. The Prophet Coming Muhammad up, was the message. The National Border Patrol a Council has a... Islam as a religion is a lie wrapped with some facts and truths. I want the truth!